Have you ever stopped to think how many electrical circuits you interact with every day? How many circuits are within reach as you read this? Probably hundreds, even thousands, if you count all of the circuits in the computer you are using to do this lesson. All circuits, no matter how simple or complex, have the same properties. Ohm's Law helps us to understand the relationship between the three basic electrical properties, voltage, current, and resistance. The two principles that define this relationship are number one, changes in current are directly proportional to changes in voltage. If voltage increases by 50 percent, current will increase by 50 percent. Number two, changes in current are inversely proportional to changes in resistance. If resistance increases by 50 percent, current will be reduced by 50 percent. To use Ohm's law to find an unknown value in a circuit, two values must be known. If you want to calculate current, you must know the values of voltage and resistance. There are three different arrangements of Ohm's law. It is simple to select the correct one. To find current, it's voltage divided by resistance. To find voltage, it's current times resistance. To find resistance, it's voltage divided by current. Putting Ohm's law in a triangle helps us to understand that relationship and how to arrange the formulas and a very simple way to solve the formula or to see the arrangement is to cover up the value that you're looking for. So you want to find current, cover the I. And the resulting formula is current equals voltage divided by resistance. I've included a five-step process to help you to know how to work the Ohm's law problems. Uh, first of all, you, number one, you have to determine the unknown property. Number two, determine the two known values. You must have two known values to use Ohm's law. Number three, select proper formula arrangement. Number four, plug correct values into the formula. And number five, perform the calculation. Now before we look at some examples of Ohm's law applied to a series circuit, let's talk about a, a series circuit and what it actually is. Electrical circuits that are wired in series have only one path for current flow. The current measured at any point in the circuit will be the same. And remember that because that will be key to solving a lot of the problems that I'll be giving you. Electrical circuits that are wired in series have only one path for current flow so the current you measure any point in that circuit will be the same it will be the total current so the definition of a series circuit is a circuit with only one path for current flow and here's an example I've included for a series circuit when the switch closes the electrons leave the negative pole of the battery flow through the light bulb and back to the positive pole of the battery the same current can be measured at any point in the circuit. Here's another series circuit. This one has a resistor for the load. The current still moves through the circuit in the same manner. We will use this circuit to learn how to apply Ohm's law to find unknown values. Now we will apply Ohm's law to a series circuit. This process involves finding the two known values from the information given to us on the drawing and then plugging those values into the proper arrangement of the Ohm's law formula. So using our five-step process we will work through this problem. Number one, what property is unknown? That's total current or IT and remember I stands for current or intensity of current. Number two, what are the two known values? Voltage, which is 24 volts, and resistance, which is 1000 ohms. Number three, select the proper formula arrangement, which is volts divided by resistance equals current. Plug the correct known values into the formula, so that would be 24 divided by 1000 and then perform the calculation. 24 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.024. Now if you remember from our metric prefix study 
uh, the answer can be converted from 0 0.024 amps to 24 milliamps. It's time now to get in the habit of using the metric prefixes, so just get in that mindset of doing that conversion. Go ahead now and work through the rest of the examples and find out how to calculate all the different uh, properties of the circuit using Ohm's Law.